Hello everyone, this is your Prashant. Welcome to our channel. Yesterday we saw the data types of first part. Today we are going to see the Python data types part two. Today we are going to see string, list, and tuples. Uh, uh, people who are, uh, didn't see the yesterday's video, uh, go and see the yesterday's video. Yesterday we, we saw integer, float, complex numbers, uh, dictionary, boolean, and set. Uh, let's jump on the topic. Today we are going to see the string. Uh, string is kind of uh, storing uh, multiple sentences in a single variable. So we'll start. So I'm creating a, st a string. So we can uh, using a double quotation to write a string. So what are the other ways means we, we can uh, use single quotation as well. So both are uh, same here. Okay. So uh, we have another option. Suppose we're creating a multiple lines of string. We need to use a triple quotation. So this quotation is to for multiple lines string so we are using str1 variable name so i'm printing so how to run right click it and click on a run button so it will run a string so this is how we need to create a string so we are going to see the uh, some of the important methods in a string so for the, so our first method is length so how to find the length so i want to know the length of the string means i need to use in the print method i'm going to uh, the string one so i'm going to use a length method this length method will help us to find the length of the string. Now see this, how simple. So this is a 20's length from here to here. Okay. And next thing is we are going to see the lowercase, uppercase. So we need to use a lower, lowercase method to uh, make everything in a lowercase. So uppercase used to make everything in uppercase. So see this, everything is a lowercase. If you missing is upper. So like a case sensitive, so it will make everything in a uppercase. See this? So this is how we're making a uppercase to lowercase things. And concat, so what concat? So adding one string to another string, it's a concat operation. So uh, how to concat now? We need to use a plus operator. So plus is additional operator. So I'm going to add str1 plus str2. Uh, see guys. So we added to one and two another string together so this is the concat operation next one is find suppose you want to locate any uh, anything from a string we can use a find operator so see this i'm going to uh, find so uh, see here uh, we need to use find method so a is located in the eighth string so it was a in eighth so we didn't use string. so we are using a find method we can use a a so and if you run a so eight will come so this is how uh, it was stored and we, uh, next thing is a replace what is replace we need to change suppose suppose i need to change a to b so how to change it so we need to use a replace method so str1 dot um, uh, replacing a to b okay see guys the a moved to as a b so this is the replace method to change it next thing is join suppose i want to add one letter and between every letters means i need to use a join method so see this i am going to add ash see this we need to use a join method to add all the strings between the ash okay so these are the things a split we'll see after the list concept so list is kind of array as we studied in the before in a java so we need to use a square bracket for the list we can store numbers we can store a, a letters everything in a, in a list see this so what is the first thing is uh, we need to use the length so how, what is the length used we study in a string so length is used to find the length of a string or list see this so we are if you run here you can able to see so see this so we have a length is 4 and next can is append so append is what adding so that is the append so i'm going to list one dot append i'm going to add a 6 so after this, after appending it, I'm going to place it. See this? 6 is added to the list. Okay, next thing is insert. Insert is adding in a certain place. So array is form of store in an index based. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Suppose I want to place it in a 2. So I want to insert it. List dot insert. So I want to mention the uh, which place I want to I'm changing that in the second place I want to add 3 see this in the second place the 3 is added to the list so this is called inserting and 
indexing so what indexing i want to know the index suppose i want to know where the four is stored in the location so i want to use a indexing method in a list one i am going to index i want to know the index of where the four is stored so that is my want index so see this guys so it was stored in the third place like 0 1 2 3 so in the index third index just storing it okay then as a remove so remove was used to remove a certain uh, uh, letters like suppose i want to remove the four from a list so if i list dot remove four i am removing it after that i am printing it so from the list i am removing the four okay this have removed the things and we have a sorting so we can use a sort also suppose a list is jumbled so list dot sort method to order ascending order descending order so i am ascending order making the ascending order see this guys so it's stored in the ascending order okay so then next time the pop so what the pop means both it also removes but removes remove in certain places pop will pop in the last suppose right now four is the last end so i want to remove the pop see this here so list dot pop so pop will remove the last element so i'm printing here see this six is gone so six is removed pop from the list okay next thing is slice slice is cutting into pieces so this is our current list so in the current list i want to get zero to one so i want to print last one from square so first thing we need to give index from the zeroth index next after the double colon we need to give a length so length is zero like one two so i'm giving a two here so it will take the zeroth index to second length suppose i want three and five means three is index is two zero one two so i'm giving a three as a starting index and the total length is four so i'm giving the four as a second length see guys we get a five okay this is how we need to use a slice method and the extending so what is extending suppose you need to add one list to another list we can use a extend method so extend is to like suppose i am extending list two extends list one so listed i am adding everything into list two if i print a list two see this guys list one and list two was appended together so that's why we are we can using extends so now we can uh, right now understand right what is list this is storing kind of orders so now we can see this is the string so i'm going to split it if i split it so each word it will store in a list so so i'm adding a list three so from uh, splitting str1 dot split so what is the condition you need to give a condition so if i give a space as a condition see this so this it will take the space see this guys it is split into the each word so this is how we need to split condition when a split split is thrown a list so list of i element it is stored in a list okay this is the concept of splitting a string okay then final one is tuple tuple is same like a list what is the difference between tuple and list is list we can modify once after the creation but in tuples we cannot modify the things once it's created okay and another difference is we need to use circle bracket for tuple for list we need to use a square bracket okay so i'm going to print a list so see here it is stored in a circle bracket okay thanks for watching this video if you have any faced any issues please uh, com comment in below and subscribe and share to your friends thank you